how do you know if you indeed do need to simplify? I mean, surely some people out there are already living their simplest possible life. Well, that's what today's video is all about. I'm going to be doing a rapid fire 50 signs that you need to simplify. So maybe if you feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, if you're still able to get up and function every day and things are still getting done, then why mess with the system? Well, take a look at today's symptoms and see if any of these resonate with you as being possible areas where you could, in fact, simplify and get some better results for it. And of course, if you like what you see here today, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel to grow and it helps me to know what content you enjoy seeing from me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into these 50 signs that you need to simplify. Number one, a packed schedule. If your days are jam packed from morning until night, leaving no room for relaxation or self care, if it's a constant rush from one commitment to another with very little time in between to breathe, you probably need to simplify. If you've got a lot of clutter, if your home is filled with stuff that you don't use or that you very rarely use, maybe it makes it difficult for you to find what you need when you're looking for things. That's a key indicator that you need to simplify. And if you're wondering if you do have too much stuff, I recommend that when this video is over, you check out this other video of mine, 50 signs that you have too much stuff. Number three, if your relationship status with finances would be it's complicated, you have tons of loans and subscriptions and things that have made your financial life over overwhelming and you don't know what you're paying for anymore and you're not sure if you're under budget or over budget, you probably need to simplify. If your relationships are strained, very little time for genuine connections and quality time with people you truly care about, you probably need to simplify. Number five, you have trouble making decisions. So it's not necessarily from overwhelm or too many decisions. You just tend to overthink and overanalyze. So you invest way too much time in things like planning and researching and less time in enjoying and being present. If you have a cluttered digital life, maybe your inbox is overflowing, your phone notifications are constant, social media has turned into a source of comparison and distraction on the daily, or number seven, neglected health and well being. So so if prioritizing exercise and healthy eating or just general self-care activities has really taken a backseat and instead stress and exhaustion are the norm. Number eight, you lack in fulfillment and purpose. Despite achieving success in various areas of your life, which you probably often forget about, there's this persistent sense of just emptiness and longing for something more meaningful. Number nine, scattered thoughts. So if concentrating on tasks is a struggle and your mind constantly feels cluttered with things like worries or obligations or distractions. Number 10, lack of stillness and mindfulness. The constant busyness and noisiness in your life leaves little time for reflection or self-awareness and definitely little space for personal growth. Number 11, overwhelming goals and aspirations. So this is when the sheer number of things that you want to accomplish and the pressure to succeed weighs so heavily on your shoulders that you have trouble even taking the next step. Or number 12, chasing after trends and possessions, believing that they're going to bring happiness and fulfillment. And as usual, there's always a quick switch because every time you achieve that thing, you feel like you need the next best thing. It's this constant cycle of dissatisfaction. Satisfaction. Number 13, you desire to simplify, but you're not sure where to start. So maybe you constantly find yourself looking up articles or videos or podcasts on how to simplify this or that, and you're just drawn to the message of simplifying, but you don't feel like you're living it. Exhaustion and drain. This can be both physically and mentally the never ending demands and obligations that take a toll on your energy levels. You rarely indulge in solitude and personal time. Number 16, disconnection from passions and hobbies, the things that once brought you joy and excitement now feel like distant memories and unattainable luxuries that you will likely never get to. And if you do get to them, it's always someday later in the future. If you're overwhelmed by choices, things like picking a restaurant or selecting a movie to watch or even deciding on a vacation destination, something that should be fun and exciting feels exhausting and just like a daunting task due to the sheer number of choices that are available. And that can be tough because obviously we do have way more choices in just about every area of our lives nowadays than we've ever had in the past. And that's likely not going to change. But a big part of simplifying is getting in tune with your intuition and your priorities and streamlining the path to what you want so that the options don't feel as overwhelming. If you have a never ending to do list, no matter how much you accomplish, 
accomplish. There will always be more tasks piling up and added to the end of your to-do list to the point where you never really get to enjoy a completed, satisfactory, done to-do list. If you've noticed negative impacts of stress on your health, chronic stress has taken the toll on your physical and mental well-being, leading to symptoms like fatigue or a hurt jaw or headaches or stomach aches. Those are likely physical indicators that you need to simplify something in your life. If you feel like joy needs to be limited, like your time allotted for having fun or play or just being happy needs to be limited because you have more productive or other things to do, then you probably need to simplify and get your priorities a little more balanced. Number 21, if you feel disconnected from nature, spending time outdoors and appreciating just the beauty of the natural world has become so non-existent that you don't even recognize the beauty that surrounds you when you're standing in it. If you never know what you want and what you want is always changing. So you have these multitude of aspirations and interests and you really struggle to identify the most meaningful ones and really pursue any of them wholeheartedly. Number 23, comparison and inadequacy rule your world. If you are constantly comparing yourself to others and you feel inadequate and you feel like you're never quite enough and you're just generally dissatisfied with yourself, maybe the pressure to measure up to societal standards or social media highlight reels has really taken a toll on your self-esteem and it just never feels like you're fully adequate and enough. Actually, a couple of weeks ago, I got this email that had a book excerpt in it from a book called The Soul of Money, which is not something that I've read, but the quote I thought was so on point. It said, we spend most of the hours and the days of our lives hearing, explaining, complaining, or worrying about what we don't have enough of. We don't have enough time. We don't have enough rest. We don't have enough exercise. We don't have enough work. We don't have enough profits. We don't have enough power. We don't have enough wilderness. We don't have enough weekends. Of course, we don't have enough money ever. We're not thin enough. We're not smart enough. We're not pretty enough or fit enough or educated or successful enough or rich enough ever. But I thought, ah, oh, man, I mean, we've all felt that way sometimes. But if you're living in that constantly, then it's a great time to simplify. Number 24, imbalanced work-life ratio. So if your work-life balance is heavily favoring work, making it challenging to even disconnect from work obligations to sit down and eat dinner with the family, this lack of boundaries can leave you with little time for personal life and relaxation. Number 25, chaotic daily routines and habits. If a lack of structure and intentionality in your day-to-day -day life leaves you feeling disorganized and continuously unproductive. Number 26, disrupted sleep patterns. So if your sleep is constantly out of whack and shifting back and forth and you're regularly struggling with things like insomnia or trouble winding down, maybe because you're finishing up tasks right before bed, this could also be caused from daily stress or just having priorities out of whack during the day. There's tons of reasons, but if you're noticing that your sleep patterns have been really disrupted, that's another key indicator that you need to simplify. Number 27, excessive and impulsive impulsive consumption. Whether this is shopping or eating or entertaining or just general addiction, if you often indulge in mindless consumption that brings maybe temporary gratification but leaves you feeling empty. Number 28, you refuse to take time off. So you intentionally choose to not take time off because you fear falling behind or you don't want to be seen as being lazy. And really just the idea of taking time off for relaxation or rejuvenation feels foreign and kind of makes you feel guilty. If you feel afraid or resistant to simplifying, that could be a key indicator that you actually need to simplify. So maybe part of you kind of wants to simplify, but you're afraid that if you mess with anything you currently have going on, all of the balls are gonna drop. So you have this fear of change and this comfort of the familiarity that really keeps you trapped in a cycle of complexity because you're worried about what's gonna happen if you were to ever tamper with that complexity. If you get into a lot of arguments, especially with your significant other or your kids, and of course this can stem from a variety of other reasons, from being a workaholic and overworking, to being a clutterbug and never decluttering, to just having toxic relationships. You know, there are tons of different 
different reasons that can trigger this, but at the end of the day, it often indicates the need to simplify some area of your life. If you have more than 10 credit cards, you likely need to simplify your financial situation. If you have trouble finding what you need on your technology, your phone is overrun, you don't know where your apps are, your desktop on your computer is completely cluttered and covered with things, to where you have trouble finding what you need when you do need it. If this is you, by the way, next week I'm going to be going into how to simplify your technology. So you're going to want to tune in then. Number 33, you have constant FOMO, fear of missing out, and trouble saying no. So the fear of missing out drives you to overcommit oftentimes and spread yourself way too thin, which can also lead to exhaustion and dissatisfaction. Number 34, you have a disorganized physical environment. So maybe you don't have an issue with clutter, but you have an issue with organization and things are always in disarray. You don't have great systems for where things go. And so it takes you a long time to find stuff and your home or workspace and personal belongings contributes to a sense of chaos. I've shared before that one of the areas that I really work to simplify my life is with the belongings that I choose to bring into my home. To get things that are just simple and comfortable to use and to wear that I'm actually going to use and wear. And so that brings me to today's sponsor, which is Cozy Earth. I pretty much live in their loungewear. I'm wearing it right now. I wear it in most of my videos. Now I have their silk filled comforter, which I am in love with. So the filling in it is silk, but the outside is viscose from bamboo, which is what this company is known for. They create products out of the softest bamboo. So you know it's eco-friendly, it's sustainable. I was actually live with their founder, yesterday and he was talking about how he goes to the manufacturing spots himself so that he can personally check in on the job satisfaction of the employees and the quality of the work that they're putting out all the way down to the stitching. Five of their products have been on Oprah's favorite things list, which is really huge. That's not something that they competed for or like paid to be a part of. She just happened to use their products and found that they were some of her favorite things. Cozy Earth has been kind enough to offer my audience 30% off using the code MIADANIELLE30. The goal of the company will always be to create something that's going to last a lifetime and be insanely soft. Number 35, you have a lack of presence, meaning you're constantly focused on the past or the future, what's next, rushing through tasks and conversations, and you miss out on the richness of the present experience. Number 36, you have issues with boundaries. So whether it's setting boundaries or following and adhering to other people's boundaries, boundaries just kind of elude you. And this leads to strained relationships and also system breakdowns because there are no clear expectations. If you're neglecting your body, meaning you have poor hygiene, which is leading to social and health frustrations, or you're just not putting in the effort to walk and get moving and just take care of your body the way you need to take care of it. All of these can lead to frustrations, but also lack of mental clarity and can indicate poor priority alignment. If you never know what to eat or feel like you never have anything to eat, even when you do because of complicated or unfulfilling eating habits or restrictive eating patterns, or you just have excessive of meal planning tendencies. Maybe you've lost sight of just the simple joy of nourishing your body. Number 39, if your communication is cluttered with unnecessary information or bad information. A lot of times what comes out of our mouth or out of the text from our fingers results in all of the frustrations and complexities and lack of simplicity that we're receiving and experiencing on a daily basis. So if you are overcomplicating your message, which is leading to misunderstanding and difficulty expressing your thoughts effectively, then this might be an area for simplicity and focus going forward. If you frequently find yourself obsessing and overthinking, it could be about the past, about the future, about other people, about fictitious situations that have yet to arise, this mental clutter really robs you of the ability to be fully engaged in the present moment and to find peace of mind. If you have difficulty delegating tasks or asking for help, believing that you must do everything yourself only adds unnecessary complexity to your life and it really limits your ability to achieve more. Number 42, excessive media consumption and information overload. The constant stream of news, social media updates and entertainment contributes to mental clutter and negatively impacts your overall well-being. 
Number 43, if you're always waiting to finish, maybe you have an issue with perfectionism. This adds unnecessary pressure and really prevents you from completing just about anything. And it's really another form of lacking in priority alignment because you're prioritizing perfectionism over completing and accomplishing something. Number 44, you're living outside of your values. So it could be that your schedule is packed with obligations that don't truly resonate with your values and your priorities, or that you haven't taken time to prioritize and simplify what your values truly are. Number 45, you're constantly multitasking and having decreased productivity. The things that you used to be able to do pretty quickly and to do proficiently are now lacking in quality. Or number 46, things are regularly turned in late. If you lack in self-reflection and introspection, this prevents you from gaining clarity and making those intentional choices that are aligned with your values. Number 48, you're constantly rushing or feeling behind. Number 49, you feel like a more frustrated version of your usual self. And number 50, you're perpetually unhappy. If you resonated with any of these things, or even more likely with a handful of these things, let those be indicators of the areas of your life where you likely need to simplify. Of course, simplicity is a personal journey. Everybody's is going to look different. While you can copy other people's tools and use their motivation and inspiration to help move you along in your own journey, and I definitely recommend that you do, it's still important to make sure that you're taking the time to align things with your own personal values. So that's all for today. If you want to check out 50 signs that you have too much clutter, then I recommend you click on this video here to go check that out. Tune back in next week to learn how to simplify your tech life. And I will chat with everybody then.